Hey everyone, so welcome to this video and in this video we'll discuss one famous graph algorithm graph algorithm, okay and using this algorithm you can solve variety of questions on competitive coding platforms right so this is very very important okay so that algorithm is flood fill algorithm flood fill so in this video I will solve one question which is based on this algorithm and before solving that question let's try to understand what exactly this algorithm means okay so let's say this is a room and you are inside this room and let's assume that this room has four gates that is gate number one here we have gate number two then gate number three and here we have gate number four okay and let's assume that uh, these three gates that is gate number one two and three are sealed means it is not possible for you uh, to go outside of these gates so what you need to do is you need to come out of this room through any of these gates so let's say these gates are sealed 1, 2 and 3 so here you are left with only one option that is gate number 4 so if you are not familiar with all these things then what we'll do uh, you'll go to gate number 1 and here you'll find that it is not possible for you to come out of this gate so you'll return back ok again you'll go to gate number 2 same thing you'll come uh, back to the room again similarly with gate number 3 ok but when you go to gate number 4 uh, you'll find that it is not sealed so uh, you'll come back uh, out of this room uh, through this gate ok so what you're doing here you are exploring all the possibilities or all the possible gates of that room ok so similar is the case of this algorithm so let's say uh, if you are given a question and that question is based on this algorithm so you need to explore all the possible answers of that question right and after exploring all the possible answers you will one second you will find the actual answer of that question okay so this is the basic idea about how flood fill algorithm works so now let's try to understand this question so this is a 4x4 four four matrix here we have 4 rows and four columns okay four columns so and uh, you can see four characters four types of characters are there that is s d then zero and one okay so s is representing source this is source d is destination right okay so what you need to do is you need to go from source and uh, reach to the destination through these paths so these are the possible paths this is path 1 here we have let's say path number 2 uh, this is uh, third path right so you'll find multiple paths okay so you need to start your journey from here and end that journey to the destination that is D okay so let me tell you what is 0 and 1 so 0 is the blockage okay blockage BLOC okay and one is non blockage okay so let's say if you are at this zero if you are here then it is not possible for you to go from here to here or from this zero to this zero because zero is actually blockage okay let's say if you are at this zero okay so you cannot go to this one or this one okay it is not possible so zero is uh, zero is representing blockage and one is non blockage means if you are at this one or any one then you can go to here 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 or here okay and one more thing is that you have only four directions let's say this is direction one d2 d3 and d4 so let's assume that if you are at if you are at this one okay sorry if you are at this one then you can move from here to here then this is second direction this is third and this is fourth okay it is not possible for you to move diagonally this is not possible or this so you have only four directions in which you can move and you just need to start your journey from source 
that is 0 0 and end your journey at D that is 3 3 so this is 0 0 okay that is 0th row and 0th column and this is 3 3 third row and third column right so this is what you need to do in the question and one thing if let's say it is possible to reach the destination okay then in that case you need to print that is you need to print this string that is possible possible right and if it is not possible to reach here then in that case you need to print not possible right not possible so this is what you need to do in this problem so okay so this is uh, the matrix and this matrix is similar to this one okay and what i did i actually i created this matrix that is a visited matrix and initialize this matrix with false okay false so what i uh, will do we'll create a dfs function dfs function and we'll pass the source and destination coordinates so the source coordinate is 0 0 right 0 0 and the destination coordinate is 3 3 so here we'll pass 0 0 and 3 3 okay now let me create a dfs function here void dfs and let's say it is source of x then source of y okay then we have destination of x and destination of y okay these are the four coordinates right so what we'll do let's say we are at this position that is 0 0 coordinate 0 0 okay so first we'll go to this coordinate that is 0 1 and then we'll explore this coordinate that is 1 0 right so we just need to explore all the possible paths and find out that which path uh, will lead to this coordinate that is destination so let's say first we'll go to this path and here we'll find that 0 0 which is blockage so we'll return back to this path okay and then we'll move to this path because it is not possible for us to visit the node or the coordinate diagonally so we'll come to this one and then from this one first we'll explore this so let's say i'm here and then from here let's say we'll move to this path okay but it is not possible because it is a blockage then we'll go to here okay and then from this one let's say we'll go to here then from here to here okay but it's a blockage then we'll return back and then there's no possible uh, paths for that for this coordinate so again we'll return back to this one and we'll explore this this path so zero is again a blockage so we'll re return back to the one and then we'll move to this coordinate and from here to here so actually we are doing the dfs traversal from one coordinate to another coordinate okay first you need to visit a coordinate and explore all the possible paths of that coordinate okay so this is the bfs traversal sorry dfs traversal so what we will do uh first uh, let me write the recursive case okay so in recursive case we just need to call the function so that is dfs function and in the parameters i need to visit all these coordinates so let's say if you are at here then you have four possible coordinates right these are the four possible paths that you can visit so that is okay so what we'll do s of x minus one right so this is uh means we are subtracting one from the x coordinate okay let's say if you are at here then uh, if i sub let's say for it here if you subtract one from this then you will reach here okay so again sy then we have dx and dy so this is one possibility let me copy this okay 
so in the next possibility uh, we will add one okay so this is for x coordinate and similarly we need to do for y coordinate also right and in the fourth one we will add one to the y coordinate so let's say if you are at here that is one this is row one and column is two you are at one two okay one two so it means that the value of s under, underscore x is one and the value of s underscore y is two okay so if i subtract one from this so it will become 0 2 0 2 so first uh, you will explore this path that is 0 2 right you are at right here that is 1 2 so uh, you will go to this node that is 0 2 after that we have 1 plus 1 that is 2 2 okay then we have 2 2 2 2 right again we have uh, 1 1 one one so these are basically the coordinates that you have to explore one one and at last we have one three one three okay so currently you are at one two so these are the four coordinates that is zero two then we have uh, one three then here we have this two two okay two two and in the left uh, we have uh, 1 1 okay that is 1 1 so these are the possible coordinates that you can visit so this is the recursive case now we need to write the base case here and we also need to mark the visited node okay let's say if I visit this node so we'll mark this node as visited because you know uh, in graph we have cycles in graph we have cycles so we need to mark the node as visited because uh, it is possible that we can visit this cycle okay so because of that we'll mark visited of s underscore x and s underscore y as true okay now uh, base case so in base case we have multiple conditions okay so let's say if you are at one second so if you are at this node okay this uh, coordinate then it is not possible for you to move on this coordinate or on the upper coordinate okay because there is no coordinate so this is the base case and let's say if you are at this coordinate so this path is not possible this coordinate is not possible and the upper coordinate is not possible right so we need to write these base cases here so s underscore x should not be is equal to 0 or s underscore y should not be is equal to 0 okay and again let's say if you are at destination right then this is not possible and this is not possible okay so s underscore x should not be greater than 3 because here we have uh, 4 rows that is 4 rows and 4 columns okay 0 1 2 3 or s underscore y should not be greater than 3 right so these are the base cases and one more thing let's say if uh, any node or any coordinate is visited then uh, we don't have to visit that coordinate again okay so or visited of s of x right and visited of s of y is true okay is true and the second condition is we need to mark if the matrix is zero okay let's say if the matrix element is zero so it is a blockage right so matrix of s of x and s of y is zero then we'll simply return back to the function from where it is called okay
so this is a kind of base condition right now we just need to call this function here okay we have already called this function and if visited of 3 and 3 is true then it means that it is possible so we'll simply print possible right and if it is false then we'll print not possible so this is the idea okay now let's compile this okay it is sorry d underscore x and here we have d underscore y and this is s underscore y right so here we are getting the answer that is possible so let's see the possible path okay so uh, you can see this path from here to here then this one okay this is the path so this path is possible now let's change this matrix let's say if i uh, swap this value means uh, that is zero and here we have zero so it will not be possible because it's a blockage okay these are the blockage so it is it is not possible for us to visit the destination so let me change the matrix okay now if I run this again now it is showing that not possible okay so because here we have zeros right so this is how uh, this flood fill algorithm works okay and this is the code for that right so that's it for this video. Thank you.